Antigua and Barbuda's uh, carnival this year, we had the theme of sweet misbehaving. Um, and the whole idea behind the sweet misbehaving theme was that, you know, for, for carnival, things are always nice, things are always sweet. It's a time of year when, uh, for us persons here in the Caribbean, it gets very festive. So the idea behind it was um, to just enjoy things that come about only at this time of year. So the sweet sounds of pan, the sweet sounds of calypso music and soca, you know, it's all about just enjoying that time and that little bit of freedom at that time of year and that was the idea behind the sweet misbehaving.
everybody's in a state of euphoria. Yes, yes, um, yes. Hell's Gate, they are the winners of the Panorama competition. And I must say, it was a good display of, of you know, plain steel pan yeah, and everything. Really yes, it was really great. Um, we want to know how much preparation would have gone into the, um, you know, leading up to the competition. About 10 weeks. About 10 weeks? And, and it's, it would normally take less, but we have some very young children. I believe the youngest one being six or seven, and 80% or so of our band is between the age of five and 16. So we have a young squad. We have to remember that Carnival and the whole essence and reason for Carnival comes out of emancipation. And the also behind the sweet misbehaving theme, we, we were remembering that emancipationary period where you know people thought that when the slaves were trying to, to, to fight for their freedoms, that was a little bit of misbehaving. But we have to remember, put everything in perspective. It, it, it's about trying to celebrate our freedoms, our freedoms as a people. So um, personally for me, the essence of Carnival is, is about that emancipationary period period and celebrating our freedoms as a people and trying to develop our culture and keep our culture alive and intact so for me the the essence of carnival like I said is our music and also our people celebrating our people our heritage our, our costumes our revelry and not forgetting about that
here with Seton from the Mad Tegans. <laughs> yes, we just enjoyed that performance from you, Seton. All right. Yeah, so how do you feel you were received by the audience? Were you all received? Well, I think I was very, very well received. I was so surprised and shocked to see how the crowd was reacting and give thanks to everybody behind me, my dancers, my co-workers, the Mad Tegans. Give thanks to the fans. Give thanks to Caribbean. <laughs> You're making me smile. Yes, give thanks yes. to God, my mother, everybody who sponsored me. Okay, so what was the inspiration behind this song? Well, honestly, it was a girl from Connecticut, but she broke my heart. But every time I think about it, I still smile. And of course, she's probably smiling too. Even though the circumstances might not have been all that nice, she's probably smiling at your performance. So she's probably watching you, yeah? Of course. Well, y'all are some mad people, though. But everybody enjoys the madness. Yeah, 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 ID. Yo, CMC, you don't know, we inside. Boom. Yes, Ricardo, I loved your performance, by the way. Thank you much. Thank yes, you much. first time I ever seen you on stage, and I was quite impressed. Good, good, I'm glad, I'm glad. All right, so let us know um, what preparation, you know, you had to go through for your, for your performance. Well, we have an extensive team. You know, the team has been very, very helpful in everything that we've been doing, the management to the dancers, to mm -hmm. to the, the crew, to the stage management, to everything. So, you know, it, it, to, to have a successful performance, you have to make sure you have all corners covered. And I think right. although we had little hiccups, we, we covered as much as we could. A little hiccups. I didn't see no little hiccups. You, and you, you know, you're a, of course, because you're a professional. That's right. Right? You just brush it off and you keep on going. That's, that's a good, right. that's the mark of a good um, performer. Thank you. Yeah? Okay, so the audience. Yeah, you, you, you actually felt the energy for the perform for me and the audience. Well, side. to be honest with you, when I first came on the scene to Antigua in 2010, the crowd used to stand up and watch me like this. Yeah. So you know, to see from 2010 to now, mm -hmm. how it's gone, it's, 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 it's good. It's good. Okay, okay. So how long have you been on the scene, though? Um, I've been doing soca for a while now. Like I've been doing soca since 2004. Um, worked with a couple of artists and bands in Trinidad. Um, I was a part of Roy K. Paul Stars. Roy K. Paul Stars? Correct. And actually, when I leave Antigua, I'm going to go back to the Roy K. Paul Stars. So okay. as a part of Image and Company, formerly known as Second Image, um, you know, I, I did some work with HD for a while as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's just been progressive rolling movements. Work has been rolling, rolling. That's good. That's good to know that you have regular work, you know, right. going on. <laughs> King Hard Knocks. Okay. You don't know where you slap with the thing. To the left, to the right. Mash up the place. Exactly. Mash. Oh, you don't want to say to mash up this place. Love that song. Love that song. So give us a little bit of that song, please. To the left. To the left right now. Stop. Get mad. Mash up the place. Slap where. Wow. Yep. Mad Tegan's to the world. Let me bring the true essence of this song. Everybody's a fear. Don't sing tight for that sing of jealousy. Let me show you the reason for this song. Let me show you the reason for this song. Check it out. Listen, listen. Who made it from me is a type of the only way. Cherish the ones who love me, even those who hate me. This is the road that I decided to take. Listen, listen. Stop it right now. It's the winter, man. <laughs> okay. Yes, he performed tonight, and 
by the way, had looked out in the stands, everybody was in full agreement with his performance. He was just electric. So, Tian, was it great for you? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, went out, did what we rehearsed, executed, came out. Because that song seems to be in heavy rotation um, on the radio stations, yeah? Yeah, I mean, from, from, in, from since the song was released, mm -hmm. it just took off. Everybody loved it. Ready? Go! We're not jumping up! So right now, we're here with Ezzy right again, who just performed, he's fresh off the stage, still sweating, yeah, still beaming from his spectacular performance. I loved it. I was chipping all the way. Yes? Okay, so Ezzy right again. No, um, you've been in this perform. well, sorry, you've been in the arena for how long now? Uh, five years, since 2009. 2009? Yeah, definitely. Uh, my first track was a track called Lixi in 2009. It was a jumpy also. Okay, so how was that received back then? Uh, back then it, it got a little crowd response, but not as big as this year, Carnival 2013, with uh, my hit song, Golden Cup, running the nation, running the island, running the Caribbean right now, red. <laughs> okay, so, so what was the inspiration behind this song exactly? Um, and the inspiration was, I, w I was just thinking about uh, every fete you go to, they, they strongly urge that you pour drinks in plastic cups. Plastic cups doesn't make any sense. Uh, it has no value. So this year we're jamming for that golden cup, a cup that worth 10 million. You'll protect that with your life. Okay, you definitely got a story behind it. Yeah. Okay, the, the audience simply soaked up every moment of that performance. So you think, you think that you really got a good chance this year? I got a really, really, really good chance. 99.10% chance of winning that cup that I'm dreaming about. <laughs> yeah. Two. Set on! Pass on up! Set on! Pass on up!
Feeling great. I did well. I delivered well. But well, you don't know. Sell out the place. Shut up the place. Madly, the thing shot. Mad. Sick. Psycho. Yes, you were really good. And I, I, congratulations. Thank you very much. And yes, we have the first banner up in the groovy, groove, right? The groovy part of the competition. And I must say, though, I'm happy for you. I'm really, I'm genuinely happy for you. Thanks and so the much. crowd went wild when they heard that you were the first one around. But somebody that hasn't had that much time in the actual um, competition itself, you yeah. did very well this time around. Yes, and I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. You're I'm surprised. sounding hoarse. <laughs> you can't continue. Your, your happiness right now, huh? Of course. Ah, party. Everybody jumping for you and everything. Look, look at that big trophy. Nothing is the very loudest competition. Yep. Have all your supporters around you. So anybody wants to speak on, speak about you or anything like that? Anybody pick up, here? Pick up, pick up, pick up to all, all my dancers. All people that have been there. All my dancers. Yeah. 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 Stop it! Get it stopped Yes, and we're here with the Lime Soka Monarch, and that is Radigan. And you know what? They had two sets of judges today. They had the ones out there that were tabulating the marks, and then you had the audience, and everybody seems to be in agreement. No, Radigan, how do you feel right now? <laughs> Yo, marvelous. <laughs> Spectacular. Trust me, uh, this was not expected at all, but judging from the feedback from the crowd, it was, it was crazy to them, but... The crowd interaction is only five points, as I said earlier. The stage, you gotta take it to the stage. I did big things on stage to the judges, and that's the reason why I'm now the Lion Party Monarch King for 2013. Golden Cup, so right now, everybody jump, fuck off! 